a, a three-day conference. After, after, it's okay. Now you're recording. Hey, we're recording. I'm so sorry. Um, it's okay. Should I start again? Just kidding. No. <laughs> no. Um, like add to the video or something for YouTube. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so it was a three-day conference, and they will provide meals and everything very well organized. Dr. Lowe is amazing. So um, after the first meeting, we went straight to the supermarket, and that was it. And we started our journey. But the interesting thing is, like, see, even though I grew up in an Adventist home, I really never pay attention to the health message ever because I was not sick. I didn't need it at all. So... I think I wouldn't even pay attention if somebody would come and they eat more vegetables and fruits. Every, you know, we're tired of the eat more vegetables and fruits because everybody talks about it, eat more vegetables and fruits. But this, this approach made sense for me. And I said, well, I'm gonna give it a try. It's a hyper nourishing program. So you, you fill your blender with all these leaves, right? Kale and spinach, and then you add some flaxseed and a little bit of fruit and you blend it and you drink. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that sounds like simple. It sounds like something we can do. So we went home, my husband and I, and we started our journey. And then after a couple months, I went to the doctor. He run test again. And he says, well, <clears throat> "What? bless you. So I said, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I, I haven't seen anybody lower the cholesterol um, just without medication, just like that. And my husband had really high cholesterol. They were going to put it on, on, what was the name of this medication? Lipitor, I think. And they were going to put it on, on this medication. And he dropped a, a, a bunch of points in cholesterol. And then he was so impressed. He's, what are you guys doing? I'm drinking green smoothies. And he says, I want to try the green smoothies. So we gave the doctor the green smoothies. And he started drinking the green smoothies. His wife started drinking the green smoothies and so on. Um, I haven't visited the doctor since then. Interesting. Um, but my husband is 64 years old. He doesn't take any medications. Um, and it's amazing how really the health message, I mean, it works. It really does. So I was so impressed. I was so, so excited. It's like, people need to know. People need to know this. How am I gonna, I'm going to share this? I have this, this in, my, in my heart. And I even made an appointment with the doctor, Goldener, and she directed me how to do the shakes and everything. And I helped her as a volunteer in a couple of the, her seminars and everything. I found um, the church um, gave her some space to do some seminars. So I, I learned a little bit more about her protocol and things like that. And it was very, very uh, interesting. And then after that, my husband and I continue and I start with this excitement in, in my heart and say, well, maybe maybe if I ask her that that she can open a Spanish group and I can direct the group for her, I can share this message. So I asked her, why don't you open a Spanish group and, and I will direct to Dr. Golden. And she said, no, no, she didn't want to do that. And so I was kind of discouraged. And I thought, ah, you, you know, I lose this opportunity because you know, if it's her, they're gonna follow her because you know, she's a doctor. If I open a group, who's going to follow me? I'm an I am nobody. Who is going to follow me? But I had this in my heart. So I start praying and said, Lord, I want to share the, the health message, but in a different way. Um, I'm going to open a group if it's your will, because you have been putting this in, in, my, in my head. So it must be coming from you. I don't even like to cook. I don't know how this is going to work, but it's okay. I, I will go. And I started the group. There was 10 people uh, at the beginning, all my family members, of course, nobody else, but my family, right, going to join the group. And then, okay, then, okay, who else? And then my cousins and then friends of friends. And then I started sharing my testimony in different groups and things like that. People start joining and joining. And we are almost 5,000 people. I don't even know how. I opened three years ago. And it's amazing how God has blessed this little ministry is amazing. So I go everywhere. I order, I made these little business cards. It says Lolita Greens, these business cards. And in the back says, take the control of your health. Tome el control de su salud. So I have my Instagram and I have my Facebook 
uh, and my phone number. And I, I keep carrying them with me everywhere I go and I give them to people. And then I also made the little bookmarks with uh, 10 tips, 10 tips. It's like the, the you know, the eight rules of um, the law of health and everything. And then it's in the back, it's like a bookmark. So I give it to people when everybody has something, you know, everybody has high blood pressure or everybody has, everybody has something. So the, the health subject is gonna be an easy one for you to start a conversation. Cause it's like, did you, do you have any pains? <laughs> of course, everybody has any pains. So that has been a, a, an amazing tool for me. And then people follow um, my page and then I, I share my recipes. Um, I don't like to complicate my life. So it's like half hour recipes. And I have been learning more things. I joined the medical missionary group. I completed the, the training. And then I go into every single training, education, seminar. And, and you know, I go and, and learn as much as I can to share with people what I learned. I, I, some people say I should charge because I'm a health coach, I guess. It's like a, being an influencer and you're a health coach or something. I just, like I, by, for now, I, I'm not doing that. I don't know in, in the future, I may, but for now I, I don't do that. So people call me and I take my time to do a health questionnaire about lifestyle. Then I give them general things and I pray for them and, and, some people, I, after we, we talk about health, then I ask them, would you mind if I pray for you? So they say, oh, that's interesting. Never, nobody has ever asked me that. I never had anybody pray for me. Well, would you, would you let me do that? I would like to do that. So I do a, sh a short prayer. And then after that, we meet again. And after a couple of weeks, if they do some changes and I encourage them not to take anything out of their diets, but just to add to their diets. Let's add the green smoothie. I just, I just share how I did it. I just had share how I did it. I said, that's how I did it. It worked for me. It may not work for you because all of us are different, but give it a try. And then there is other, you know, there's the protocol, the autoimmune protocol and the golden earth protocol. So I kind of like join them and, and try to, to give easy steps to follow because um, if you give people a lot of things to do, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do it. They get discouraged. So no. And, um, that's, that's how I started and, and it has been amazing. Even, um, there is Dr. Margaret Song. I think some of you are familiar with her. She's so nice. So every day I get messages in my phone. It's like, Oh, my doctor sent me to you. Can we be friends? And who's your doctor? My girl is on. Oh, bless, praise the Lord. So I sent her a, a, a box full of my business cards so she can give to people. And um, if they be if they are good good uh, patients, then then you can give it a bookmark. <laughs> but it, it, we're working as a team now with Margaret. She's amazing. And thanks to this, I thought you know what I want to share the health message. But what I really, really, really want is to share the gospel. Yeah. I, want, I want to share who, who God is, he's amazing. So I'm just gonna give it a try. And I started like a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago, I started sharing about, you know, my, my day of rest and a little bit more about, you know, words of encouragement from the Bible, things like that. And I asked for people, if there's anybody that need prayer, let me know. So people have responded really good. So I sent, I pray about it. It's like, okay, Lord, I'm going to send an invitation for Bible studies. I don't know how it's going to go. I've never given Bible studies in my life. I don't even know how to start one, but I'm going to do it. And so I send the invitation and, and it was like maybe 15 people. They always say like, you know, you have some people, but at the end, there's a little few that are left. And so there was like 10 people left and we are still meeting. We have like a year and a half. And it's so funny because we have become friends. We have become friends and, and we are moving forward. I use, I use the amazing facts. That's what I use. You know, I, I get the, the lessons. So I sit down and I study the lesson. I read my Bible and everything. I told them, well, I've never given any Bible study. We're going to learn together. So if you have any questions and I don't have an answer, we will find the answers together and go ask somebody. I will go ask somebody and we'll meet here and then we'll talk about it. And it has been very interesting the subjects and everything so 
has been a blessing. So we talk about health, also all the things that I uh, learned. Um, when I had COVID, I, I share all my, my natural remedies and I give it a try. I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. If I don't give it a try, I don't know if it's going to work or not. So everybody was taking some medications. I took my natural remedies and I said, okay, this is it. So, <laughs> and I'm still here. So it has been, has been amazing. So I opened a second Bible study group uh, a couple of weeks ago and um, like 25 people joined. So we're like 12, they show up at 12 the last, last week. So I really don't limit my time for, for the, for the lesson. I just talk about life and how was my week and people can share how was their week and you have any problems, let's talk about it. And you guys want to pray, then we pray. So they, they have time to share and they become uh, friends. And that's how you create this bond with people. And that's how I, I feel in my heart, Jesus used to do it, right? He would be friends with people first, and then he will bring health, and then he will share the gospel. So I thought, well, I can help people recover their health. I mean, I can share what I have done, and at the same time, share how amazing you are, Father. And if you give me the opportunity, because you said that there is a lot of, a lot of fields, and there is no workers. And I said, I'm here, Lord. Use me. All I have, I give to you. So I'm here. So I pray and I said, Lord, you said it. You said that there's a few. And I want to, I want to keep Bible studies. I want to be busy serving people. And so he listened to me. So now I have this Bible study. And then I want to open one in my neighborhood. I open a group for food addictions. But people is, is sometimes it's difficult because it was in, in, with the COVID. So people, sometimes they come. So I was cooking and giving some soup, a little bit of soup and, and some little things. And then we talk about health and we were meeting for a while, but then people had to travel. Everybody was busy. So it's easier sometimes online, uh, but I will give it a try again. I don't know. I was about to start sharing the message of health in my community when COVID started. I was gonna to go to the senior center. They give me permission to go to the senior center and give some presentations about, you know, cooking and green smoothies and things like that. But mm -hmm. COVID came in and then I couldn't do it. So I've been praying about it. So I'm probably gonna make a video, um, have a video company. So I will probably make a video uh, and then share it in the community page. You know, every every town or every community has a page and they share about business and food and things like that. So I thought, well, maybe I can share my story. And so that's that's a project I have. Um, so I don't know what is the next step for me. I don't know if the Lord has me selling food or, or opening a health center, or I don't really know what's the Lord plan for me, but if he, if he, tells me I will, I will do it because uh, he has shown me his faithfulness. Um, and of course, that everything sounds very nice. I recover my health and I, you know, my fibromyalgia went away. I don't have any pains. And, and it sounds very nice, but it really, it really takes um, a lot of prayer on, on your knees and reading the Bible because you get, you get attacked. You get attacked if you work for God. If you really have a heart to help people, oh, the enemy recognizes you and says, oh, mm -hmm, you're one of them. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be easy. So I had had my trials like everybody else, I assume, in this group, like everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and it hasn't been easy. And, but I have learned to recognize the voice of my shepherd. Mm -hmm. And he says, my, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So I said, Lord, there is so many noises out there, so many things, and I don't want to get deceived. Help us, Father. We don't want to get deceived. Help us to, to follow you, to listen to your voice, because it's getting confusing. So many things happening, right? And everybody's preparing. You have to prepare because things are coming. You have to run, run to the cities, and, and go prepare. And so everybody gets all like... Um, stress and is if I don't prepare what if I don't have this and have that is it so you it can get overwhelming it can get overwhelming I don't have my property in the city yet I don't have my 
I don't know, chickens or whatever. And so you can really get really, really overwhelmed with these things. And we need to understand that God has a plan for everyone. He has a plan. He has a plan for the lady that is in a wheelchair. He has a plan for the disabled. He has a plan for the children. He has a plan for the pregnant woman. He has a plan for everybody. And not everybody has to have a farm. Imagine. So he will provide. We have to have peace in our heart that he will provide and he will help us. You just get ready. Put oil in your lamp. The Holy Spirit, you just get ready. Develop that relationship with the Lord. And he will tell you where to go. He will have a shelter for you. He will have a shelter for you. So um, that's my story. And um, I would like to encourage people here. Some people don't know because I have conversations with some people say, well, I don't know. I don't know what's my gift. You know, people give talents to everybody. I, I don't know what's mine. He says, you keep praying, keep praying. God gave us talents to, to, to share with people and, and to, to serve him. Just, just ask him which one it is. And, and he will, he, if you're willing, he will use you in amazing ways because he is amazing. He's the king of the universe. He's powerful. And we sometimes we limited God and he says, no, I don't know. He is, he is the God of the universe. And we are his children. That's mm -hmm. amazing that we're his children. He calls us his children. So I go and, and bend my knees and I say, Lord, bless everyone that is in these trials. And we are facing dark times ahead of us. But I know that you are with us and, and you will give us a spirit of, of um, love and power and a sound mind. He will. So I just want to encourage everybody. As we prepare for Sabbath, happy Sabbath to everybody that is already in Sabbath. It's not Sabbath here yet. Um, but I want to encourage everybody to um, work and serve. Just serve with all your heart, with all, all your heart. There's some, some days left. So we need to really get into it. Really get into it. Whatever, whatever you have. If you don't, you have like, the gift of numbers, then you can help people with budgets, right? Because I have a friend who says, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to serve the Lord. I just do numbers and budgets. Then why don't you create budgets and help help young people? Mm -hmm. Teach people how to save money and how to be frugal with money, you know? We're stewards of God. So you can do that. And he's like, oh, that's a good idea. So <laughs> if you if you have, I don't know, I mean, I imagine everybody is a story. And I, I love how being sharing her test his testimony was so oh, my goodness, it was powerful. I miss this this meetings that you guys went and next next year i'm not gonna miss it but it was very encouraging so i really appreciate the opportunity you have given me to share my little testimony and um if somebody wants to learn how to do green smoothies join my group and <laughs> I, will share, I, will, I will show you how to do the green smoothies and you can start drinking them and i hope you guys have a wonderful amazing sabbath full of rest and peace Amen. Amen. Oh, Lily. The energy is palpable, contagious, and so beautiful. <laughs> you are welcome. You are welcome. One more thing I would like to share with you real quick. And this is this is a testimony, my testimony. My mother is 84 years old. So my dad passed away nine years old, nine years ago. So my mom started declining, declining. She lives in Costa Rica. All my family lives in Costa Rica. So my mom started declining. She developed diabetes, high blood pressure, all the, all the good ones. So I started asking my mom, mom, when do you come and visit? Come and visit mom. And, and you know, she came one time before my dad uh, passed away. But then after he passed away, she was like, no, I walk with a cane. I'm sick. I don't want to be a burden for you. I said, mom, just come. So I started praying and she, she, she did. She came and she stayed with us for six months. Mm. So I asked my mom, well, mom, this is my food. You can eat my food. Or I can cook for you scrambled eggs in the morning, whatever you want. Like, you, you, you know, your, your usual breakfast and arroz con pollo, olla de carne, and all these this, this foods from Costa Rica, right? It's like, I'll do it. I will sacrifice myself do it for you. But no, I, I was cooking for my, my children, too, because they're not vegetarian or vegans, you know. I, I cook for them. So I used to. Everybody's gone out of the house now. But my mom came. 
And then um, she she couldn't walk even around the block. So I said, oh, we're gonna start mama. So we would have our green smoothie in the morning and I would encourage you to go for a walk. And to make the story short, after three months, we have to take your blood pressure medication out because she was dropping too much. Mm-hmm. Then we took the, the she had a, a acid reflex. So she was taking medication for five years. We took it out mm-hmm. and she needed to eat every two hours because her blood uh, sugar levels would drop and she would be shaking. Every two hours she needed to eat. So if we were somewhere, it's like, oh my goodness, run because she's, oh yeah, 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 you have to run because he was going to have the, you know, something. So we start working little by little. And when she left, and of course my, my family is like, you're going to kill mom. You, you, only, <laughs> you, you only eat grass. And all there is is, you, you know, you're, you're, you're crazy and you're a fanatic. It's like, oh. So I was on my knees praying and asking the Lord to help me. My mom didn't even get a cold in the six months she was here. Not a cold, nothing. Praise the Lord. So she went back home without a cane, walking two miles, two miles at 81 years old. I have the videos. It's amazing. And and she lost 11 pounds and she could eat every five hours, every four to five hours. So God is amazing. Mm -hmm. He is amazing. So that was a powerful testimony. So if you think it's too late for you, no, if she could do it with 81 years old, if, she, if her body still works, our cells are still working because God has made us in it such a wonderful way that, that we, our bodies are made to heal, right? We're not giving the right nutrients to our, to our bodies. That's the problem. We need to learn what are the nutrients that you are lacking because everybody's different, right? Mm-hmm. So she went back, back home and it was a testimony. She said, why have you given to my mom? She looks mm-hmm. like... 10 years younger. Oh my goodness. It has been a blessing. So I just wanted to share that with you as part of a little story. Yeah. Oh, that was a bonus. I know you're full of bonuses. <laughs> yeah, a little story. I'm going to ask questions to prompt you to give you give us more bonuses. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You've had some really nice comments over here. People, have you been seeing the comments? People are really inspired by your your testimony they're really ap- appreciating it you should read those comments I see, so, I see. can you see them uh-huh. let's see the chat let's see the, yeah, chat. the chat wow praise the lord amen great uh-huh. testimony amen uh-huh. so appreciate your beautiful testimony i mean it's not god is amazing he is amazing mm-hmm. beautiful story thank you for sharing kalu you are welcome and <laughs> calvin amen 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 um thank you for for participating Thank you for being here. Um, and just want to say we have a powerful God that he is just waiting to, to feel this and, and give us big. He'll give us big if we ask. Amen. But we have to believe it. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I, I want to believe. I want to be sure that, I be, that I'm believing because, you know, sometimes we have our our. That was just like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm getting, you know, nervous. Or, no, 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 God, but you have said, no, no, you have said, you send your angels. You're not going to give my, you know, you send your angels to protect me and I'm under your wings. And so you have to constantly be battling those negative thoughts. Yeah. And he will. He will absolutely help us because he knows that we are weak, right? But I encourage everybody to continue with um, spreading the gospel and sharing love, sharing love. That's what we need to do, to serve and, and share the love of our God, that he is amazing. Amen, amen. So with your Bible studies, they're all online, right? Over Zoom or something? Yeah, yeah, we do it over on Zoom. Zoom. Mm-hmm. They were asking me, oh, can you start one for Europe? Because, you know, I would have to be in the, I don't know, early in the morning, or I don't know what time. So I don't know, but... I have two Bible studies, Monday and Tuesday. So I have some days for other other things that I do. I am working with some neighbors. So I'm teaching them how to cook and I invite them over and, oh, I like your food. It's like, yeah, I'm glad. And they, they try the green smoothies and everything. And it's amazing. And they bought, uh, we went to their house. So when I went in, I saw they bought a Vitamix. It's like, oh. It's amazing. And that this is how you become an influencer. So I thought, I want to be an influencer, a powerful one. 
but for God. If I can influence someone to go get a, a, a blender of $500, <laughs> if, I, if I can do that, I can, I can, I can really, you know, encourage them to get on their knees and pray. Absolutely. Okay. Right? I mean, they went about the, the, the blender. They did. It well, has been like four people already. They have bought the blenders because you need a good blender to do the, the smoothies. But it's just amazing. And so I have to be careful what I say in my group because the other day I shared about the um, red, ultra red. It, it was from a friend. It was not mine, but I share it. And then suddenly it's, oh, where did you buy it? I'm going to get one. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So you have to be. <laughs> You have to be careful with everything you share because, you know, people, no, no, you have to be careful and be really thoughtful when you share things and careful when you give advice and everything because the enemy is always after you. So you always have to ask for wisdom and discernment when you have this type of, of groups. But absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It, I don't know if any. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I don't know if anybody has any questions or anything, but my husband also. Um, he was not um, Adventist and uh, we got married and I started praying for him and and he went and saw the, I, I asked him, can you please give me Fridays so I can connect with God? And said, yeah, sure, sure. So he went and went on YouTube and started looking for things. And then he came and said, oh, honey, I found this man is talking about prophecy on YouTube. So just imagine he couldn't find anybody anybody there's thousands and thousands of people talking about prophecy on youtube so i said okay let me see who you found and i i i, I didn't know who don bachelor was i didn't know because in, in in our central america over there you don't really know this this evangelic evangelistic preachers right so i didn't know who he was so i'm like oh he looks adventist <laughs> he sounds like Adventist. Maybe he is Adventist. And then, and then I'm like, wow. Then I found out he was. And then my husband really liked him, and, and he started listening to it, and started Bible Bible studies, and he he baptized. He got baptized, and he supports my 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 food changes, and we did it together. And now he is even testimony of his co-workers because they have seen how he has so much energy he's 64 he has so much energy and everything so it's like everybody asking him so god has amazing ways to work yes. he does is he there yes he's here can you say hi huh can you say hi to us yes baby david. david can you come real quick honey he's how long have you been married Huh? We have been married for 11 years. 11 years. Don't ask him. Don't ask him because he will start counting and say, oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's, when is our anniversary? He will say, when is our anniversary? <laughs> I see his pictures. Yes, he's always with me. They come and say hi. Hey. Come and say hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Doing well, thank you. We were just we were here, but, but other than that, doing okay. It's oh. what, what did you say? It's what? It's a little hot and humid here in California. Ah. Otherwise, doing pretty well. Praise the Lord. We we're just hearing nice testimonies about you. Well, thank you. And yeah, how you changed you your diet. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. How you well, met the Lord. It's been, it's been for the better, both, uh, both the diet and, and, uh, and meeting the Lord, of course. Hey, what's impressed uh, me is how much you support your wife and really encourage her. We, we did a lot of this together that that made it work. I think without that, it would have been very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, we were raising the kids at the time as well. They were in the house and they were kind of eating one way and we were eating the other, but at least she had some backing by me. So oh. a little bit easier because it is difficult because the, the kids, but we, you know, we were able to move the needle. We, we, we pulled them all. They're not, they're not perfect in that sense, uh, but they've gotten away from the fast food and, and a lot of the other uh, damaging food that and I they they food. drink green smoothies all of them so yeah, they do they got married so everybody got a, a blender As everybody <laughs> later left out, got married they all get a vitamin so yes that's my gift that's my gift i can give you something they give you a bible and a blender mm -hmm. on you. yeah i love that a bible and yeah. a blender they go so well together yeah <laughs> yeah that is so beautiful and so yes you're you're getting um thank you both your you're simple inspirational someone just said 
Thank you. I really appreciate those comments. David played hockey for 23 years. He was a hockey player also. So he had a lot of inflammation and he got surgeries. You know, you know, they knock up his tooth. And, just, just recreational, but yeah. Yeah, but um, so that helped him a lot. When we changed, when he changed the diet, it helped him a lot. And he couldn't even bend the arms. Yeah, this one here, I could bend. This one, I could only take it to about here. Now I could bring it all the way in. Wow. Yeah, it really did make a difference. It made a difference in my cholesterol. Uh, I did lose weight. I didn't really expect or try to lose weight, but I lost 12 pounds. It brought me within six weeks down to my high school weight and my high school waistline. Wow. So I brought me down to 155 and a 32 inch waist. I was 34 and a half and about, I don't know, one, almost 180, something like that. So, yeah. So it I guess is. I lost even more than that, yeah. So. We have a question. Once you started juicing, how long before you saw a change in your energy levels? Well, let's, let's say, let's remember, let's remember everybody's different. So the, the fact that I, I saw results in the first two weeks, my pains were gone in two weeks. Okay, well, thank nice you. Nice meeting you guys. Thank so you, nice meeting you, David. It's because I have everybody coming. My, my kids are downstairs now. <laughs> they came to visit. They came to visit. Uh, so after two weeks, my pains were gone. And then I, the last thing I, I uh, took out of my diet, it took me like a couple of years, almost three years, uh, was fish because I was, I was eating fish maybe twice a month and cheese and eggs. Uh, but it was until I really quit eggs that my cholesterol really level. Um, but it, it's a process, it's a process, it's progressive, how Sister Y says it's progressive, right? So we cannot expect everybody to go and cold turkey. No, we cannot do that. So let's add the green smoothie, let's go for walks, let's, let's, let's see what time you go to sleep and, and, and let's try to change your lifestyle. But it, it took me a couple of weeks to see results, but everybody's different. The way our body responds is, is different, right? We all have different genetic mutations or, or predispositions and things like that. So what it, it can take longer for somebody else. I also had breast implants for 13 years. I had breast implants and that was um, another factor that was contributing to all the problems that I had. So I got my surgery a year and a half ago. So it has been quite a journey, has been quite a journey. And here I am, I am here and um, I think every, everything that, that God has allowed in my life, I use it to glorify his name because, okay, I got, I got the breast implant illness, then I'm going to go to the group and share my story. So a lot of people join from the breast implant illness. So I develop uh, chagrins probably due to my implant. So I share my progress in the chagrins group. So everybody comes from the chagrins group and, and things like that, right? And if, if it's um, something that God can use, then praise the Lord. Then, then I will take it if it's to glorify his name. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Yes, your neighbors, the one that bought the blender, because recently you were just at their house. You were telling yes. me about that. You brought pizza over for them, right? Yes. That well, they came the first time here. They came the first time here. And then I made a minestrone soup with a little toast and that was the dinner, right? And, and so they came and we went to walk by the orchard at my husband work and we had a lot of fun and the, the husband plays hockey. So he met with my husband who was like very happy. And then I gave him the minestrone soup. And of course, I mean, they're not vegan or anything. So I put a little cheese on top. I mean, mm -hmm. I had to do that. And they're like, oh, this is so good. and and amazing and then i made the, the green smoothie david shared his testimony i shared my thing i grew a green smoothie and it's so funny because the next day she comes and says you know what we feel different today we feel different today it's like, it, can't, it can't be i mean it can't be i mean god can do anything god can do anything but then that was that was amazing and then they, they ordered the, the blender and so we went to their house they invited us over and I said, well, what can I take? He said, well, we were, we were thinking about pizza and everything. It's like, <laughs> okay, I, well, I, I, I will just, you know, it's okay. What kind of pizza you want? So I ordered pizzas for them and I ordered full of vegetables, mine and everything, no cheese and things like that. So um, 
I share my pizza and what I do. I put a lot of bell peppers on top. I love it. And they were happy and, and enjoy it. We ended talking about the last, you know, all the, the things that we're facing the last days, and Matthew 24 and things like that. And they, they like to prepare their preppers too. So they are storaging foods and things like that. So we had a lot of things in common. So it was, it was very, very, very nice. So we're, we're, praying for them they are facing challenges too everybody's facing challenges these days so we just need to pray and and god will do amazing things because the enemy is working hard but our god is powerful he is working hard too and he's going to pour his holy spirit he's going to pour his holy spirit that he promised and we're going to be able to do amazing things to glorify his name yes we are and the everyday trials are preparing us to receive that outpouring of the holy spirit so we can be humble enough and then Amen. those trials will strengthen us so Amen. then then we can do those incredible things in Amen. the last days it's the everyday trials being faithful in those little things that is preparing us for that for the time of crisis so yes so i i can um i don't know if i can put a link i don't know but this is the 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 logo on the group if you go to Lolita Greens on Facebook, some people said, oh, I, I, I was looking for Lolita Greens and it's a place for eyelashes. It's like, well, I don't know. But <laughs> this is the, the logo. So you'll see this logo. Right. Or you can send me you can send me a message on, on Facebook and I will send you the link to join the group. It's bilingual because it was the Spanish only. But I, I had the opportunity to talk to, to Karen um, Doug's bachelor's wife, uh, when we visit uh, Granite Bay, and she wanted to join the group, and I said, oh, but my group is, in, is not bilingual, she, you know, it's not in English, so how she's going to join the group? Oh, she wants to join the group, I need to do something about it. <laughs> so I went home and worked really hard to translate everything, because she, she was going to join, and I really wanted to be a resource for her, so I think that was what God used to open the group for a bilingual, and to make it bilingual, so it's bilingual now. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is so beautiful. Does anybody have any questions for Lolita that they want to know? I'm wondering um, with the group. So when you said you just you posted an invitation for Bible studies on the group. Uh -huh. Oh my group, yeah. And then people said, I want to study. Yeah, I said, I said. I said, well, um, we are going to start our second Bible study group if so, in Spanish, because it's in Spanish. If somebody wants to join and learn a little bit about the Bible, you are guys welcome to, to join. And I will send my invitation via Zoom or something. And everybody, it was a very good uh, post because everybody liked it. And a lot of people join, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. And a lot of people really, I mean, they did. They sent an email and everything. So I created a group on WhatsApp and that's how I sent my invitation and they joined. On Monday, so I've been praying for this group, and the rest will be on on God. We we put ourselves for service, and God will use the rest. He will do the rest. So you you have two Bible studies going through your group. You have yeah. one on on one day of the week and one on another day of the week. Yes, from five to six Mondays and Tuesdays. So what caused you to open the second one? What well, because well we're almost finishing the first the first group i mean it has been a long time because it's like a year and a half we went through covid and everything and we survived i mean so many things has been a wonderful experience but i thought well it's about time to open another one because these people already they already study and they already know some of the things that are important so i i thought well it's about time to start another group so i, I did i started another group mm -hmm. so then you started the bible studies over Yes, I have to start from number one. Yeah, I see. So you have different. And the first group has how many? Or has had? Uh, we, we are finishing with, uh, this is number 14, lesson 14. So then we're going to go to the more advanced studies with prophecy, things like that. Um, it's, it's, you know, they send this. And this is, uh, this is the, the basic is from 1 to 14. And then advanced is from the 15 to 27 is advanced. And how many members in the first group? We are 10. 10. And the second group has? Uh, right now, they're 12. 
Wow. But since we're start, some since we're starting, we'll see. You know, some people we'll, we'll have to wait to see. But even if it's one, I'm happy. I'm yes. happy even if it's one. Yeah. Wow, it's, yeah, it's amazing that the Lord has sent you that many. What I see too is that you made it. You God put this burden on your heart to start this Facebook group. You didn't have any expectations. In fact, your expectations were low because you thought, who's going to follow me? But what I see is that when God puts something on your heart, he gives you the idea, you follow through with it. He is going to bless it. He is the one that sent you all those members because what you are doing comes was born of him. He gave you that idea. He gave you that ministry and he knew you would obey him. And so, Amen. of course, He's going to bless it. Amen. So the, the green smoothie lady was designed by God. He created the green smoothie lady. That well, the green smoothie, the green smoothie <laughs> really, really gave me a ministry because yes. the green smoothie is the, is the easiest way. I mean, I go and, and ask people, oh, we're talking about, oh, what should I do? Just say, have a green smoothie. You know, have a green smoothie. Just take a green smoothie. And then, and then that opens the conversation. So it honestly, the green smoothie has been a blessing for me. It's not any green smoothie because it's not like, you know, we don't combine vegetables. And, no, no, no. It has a particular ratio of, of, of leaves in it. 75% of the blender is green leaves. And then you put flaxseed and frozen fruit a little bit just for taste. But it's, 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 it has to have a particular ratio. It's not, it's not any green smoothie. Um, there's a way of doing it. But I share in the group, I, I share videos and in uh, recipes and uh, information about nutrition, everything I, I see that is it's helpful for people, I share it in the group. So you guys are more than welcome to join the group if you want. You can go and visit if you want. And um, I try to keep it uh, user friendly. And yeah. You're in California, right, Lumi? Yes, Is, yes. What, what part of California? We live in Ventura County. And we're praying. I don't know if we're going to move or we're praying because I, I, we know that we would like to get a property in the country. We are li we live in the small town. This is not the center of the city, but we are praying. So the Lord will guide us. We're waiting on the Lord. Amen. We will do it for sure. Yeah. How long ago was your husband baptized? Um, he, had, he got baptized four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, and we have been married uh, almost 12 years. That's, where did, where did you two meet? Uh, we were neighbors. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Neighbors. So he would go out with his kids and do things, and I was cleaning my my car, and then, then you know, hi, and hey, and he would start <laughs> talking and things. I mean, he's 10 years old. I never, never thought, ever, <laughs> I never even crossed my mind. But God has ways of doing things. It's amazing. Is he, is he American? Yeah, he was born here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. He yeah. doesn't have an accent. He looks like he could pass for Hispanic, but he just doesn't have an accent. So I wasn't sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, grew up, he grew up in, in Chatworth, I think. Chad, he was born in, in the White Memorial Hospital, LNG White. Oh. And he says, oh, yeah, that's amazing. He says, oh, I, I was born in the Adventist Hospital. So, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it's, on, it's on your destiny. Yeah. Yes. I used to say with me, I was born in Florida Hospital, but I was raised with no religion. So, yeah, my parents knew about Adventists, but I didn't know about them. <laughs> Yeah, so it has been has been quite a journey. So I really appreciate I really appreciate this opportunity, Amy, and everybody who joined. I hope you guys enjoy a beautiful Sabbath, and may God be with you and continue blessing our efforts to share the gospel of salvation. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, do you mind closing us with a word of prayer, Lily? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity that you have given us to share how amazing you are and how you can do amazing things when we um, ask to serve, Father. Bless the people that are here that join, bless their lives, help them to be a testimony, a living testimony for you. Be with us, give us peace and rest, give us heavenly joy, heavenly love, and heavenly peace.
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you again, everyone, for joining. It was a blessing. You're getting um, more positive responses, Loli. Thank you for being honest about your journey. And thank you for your story and testimony. So the people were Absolutely. Blessed. Yes. absolutely absolutely Great. it's a pleasure any anytime you guys have any questions feel free to send me a text and, and facebook or something i'm always available so have a wonderful rest of the day bye, -bye. you're welcome wonderful. everybody Good god bless you bye, -bye. <laughs> take care bye-bye happy sabbath bye happy sabbath. Happy sabbath. Bye, -bye. bye guys thank you for coming on and sharing with us absolutely <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I look forward Praise to seeing God. you both again. You as well. Come visit us. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I, I told him. I told him. So okay. we, we're praying about it. We'll see. God, God good. knows. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath.